a very long time ago, before the creation of the world, there was a young man who lived in a village far away. His name was Obiora. He was called Obiora because he was the first and only son of his parents. But he had two other siblings who were girls. Obiora was very lazy. In fact, he was not even bothered about his laziness at his age. Obiora would wake up in the morning, eat and sit under the mango tree in front of their house all day, watching people go about their businesses and gossiping with his friends when they came visiting. He knows the latest happenings in town. He was busy minding other people's businesses and paid very little or no attention to himself, to the fact that people started calling him a nuisance. Obiora's parents cared so much for him as a child. In fact, they spoiled him silly with everything he needed. He never did any domestic chores, nor followed his father and mother to the farm. Instead, the girls were made to do all of that. He was pampered so much just because he was an only son. Now you know why he grew up to become very lazy while his mates were busy working and making money to take good care of their parents. Obiora was busy feeding from his parents. Yes, he was still living off his parents. He depended on them for everything. Food, clothes, for practically everything. People always looked at him as a good-for-nothing young man and some will shake their heads and say when they see him, Dear Lord, may I never have a son like this in my entire life. He frequently got into fights and arguments with people, and none of these arguments or fights would end without someone calling him useless or good for nothing. He hated those two phrases. In fact, he hated that they had to always compare him with his friend Emeka, who had become very successful. Obiora liked a particular girl in the village. Nene. Nene was a very beautiful girl and everybody in the village liked her so much. And so one day, Obiora saw her coming back from the village stream and then walked up to her. <clears throat> Let me help you carry your water pot, he offered. No, thank you. If you wish to carry a water pot, hurry down to the stream. Your mother has gone to fetch some water from the stream. You should go there and collect the water pot from her. <clears throat> anyway, Emeka continued. I have been meaning to tell you something. I really like you a lot, you know. And I would want to marry you if you don't mind. I see that you are a very good girl and very hardworking too. Please let me know what you think about my proposal. Hmm. I appreciate that you want to marry me. 
But tell me, how will you take care of a family when you are not doing anything at all to help yourself? Do you know how people see you? Everyone in the village thinks you are useless and good for nothing. And I don't want to marry someone like that. Maybe one day when you change, then I can consider your proposal. Nene replied. Obiora was very sad. He watched as Nene walked down home with a pot of water. Good for nothing and useless. Those words resounded in his head. He would not sleep the whole night. What do I do now? I need to change. I no longer want to be called useless or good for nothing, he thought to himself. He stayed up all night, thinking, and then the thought came to his head. Aha! I will go to the powerful witch doctor in the middle of the forest. He has the power to make anything happen. In that way, he will make me useful and good for something. The witch doctor is known all over the village to be very powerful. Some even say he could be a spirit being for living alone in the middle of the forest among animals and different kinds of things. The next morning, Obiora set out really early to see the wise old witch doctor. It took him half of the day to get to the witch doctor's shrine. What has brought you here, my son? The witch doctor asked. I have come in peace, wise one, with just one wish. I am so sad and I don't know what to do, but I know you can help me, wise one. Everyone thinks and say that I am useless and good for nothing. I have come to ask that you make me useful and good for something for i know that you are strong and powerful and can do anything that is asked of you well said my son why don't you change the situation yourself you have two hands you have two legs you are a complete man. Why don't you go back and work hard and change the situation yourself? The old man said. Ah, wise one. It will take a long time now. And if you can do it, why do I have to struggle? I have very little time. For I have seen a woman that I wish to marry. But I must be useful and good for something before she can say yes to me. All right, the old man said and went into his inner shrine. He brought out a brown clay pot with a black cover and gave it to Obiora. Take this, my son. Take it home with you. Keep it very safe. And wait till the sun goes down tomorrow. Then go into your room alone. Lock the door and open the pot. You will understand the rest when it happens. 
please and please do not do otherwise do as i have instructed you okay okay wise one thank you so much wise one obiora said excitedly as he took the pot from the old man and started back home midway in the forest he became curious what could be in this pot and why do i have to wait till tomorrow before i can open it he heard a still small voice saying why don't you open it tomorrow when you get home just as you have been instructed he battled with these thoughts and finally he decided what difference does it make whether i open it today or tomorrow here in the forest or at home in my room and now the sun has gone down already as advised by the wise one eh uh, let me open this pot and become useful at once He immediately opened the pot and suddenly there was a great flash. Obiora began to transform from his legs and began to grow into a big tree. By the time the transformation was completed, Obiora had become a big palm tree. The old man saw what had happened from his shrine with his spiritual eyes and felt so bad for obiora he had warned him yes he did he gave him instructions but obiora didn't heed to any of it anyways obiora has become useful after all a palm tree yes it is the most valuable tree in ibo land tree is known to and be very part useful. of it is very productive let's take a look at it the palm front used for making brooms baskets yamban and also for roofing and fencing of houses and then oil which is gotten from the palm fruits subsequently the chaff from the palm fruits is used to light up fire the palm kernel is used to produce oil which is used for different purposes and then the tree itself can be used as firewood when it dies Till this day the palm tree remains one of the most useful trees in the entire forest this is the end of my story